Hi, Mail Pals! This is no less than the third time that I've started to record this tutorial because of various things that have gone wrong. I am trying to do a quick tutorial for the Never Ending Art Cards because I don't like any of the Never Ending Card tutorials I've seen. I'll try to keep this fairly quick. Um, if you don't like my voice, you can mute it. I think my voice is lovely, though. This is a Never Ending Art Card, as I'm calling them. I don't know if they're a thing. I haven't seen them before, but I've seen the Never Ending Cards a lot for scrapbook and stuff. And you see, the deal is you just fold and open and magical things happen. Yeah. So, you have a sheet of printer paper. I'm using a nice green because um, I filmed this with blue and I filmed this with yellow and I thought green was the next logical choice that maybe this would turn out. I'm going to fold it into fourths this way. You can actually fold it into fourths either way first, but I'm doing this because it's automatic pilot. Uh, and you see I got glue on my filming surface so things are sticking a little bit. You know, I'm going to back the camera out just a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. And then we're going to fold this way and forth. Yes. I could have started the tutorial with your paper already folded into 16 little squares, but now see, when you're doing it, do better. Do better than that. That's a, that's a crappy job. Slipshod workmanship. Slipshod, is that, is that a phrase or did I make that up? Don't know, don't care. Okay, you've used your trusty platypus to straighten out any creases. You have 16 rectangles. You are going to remove the middle four. When you do this, I am obviously trying to go a little bit fast so that I don't render an odyssey of a tutorial. But when you do it, you're going to want to be careful to be as precise as possible so that it folds easily between pages. This dead to us. Don't need losers like that in our lives. Now you have this. Beautiful, isn't it? It's the pinnacle of modern art. Take your trusty glue stick. Gonna glue bottom left corner. As so. Fold, fold up. And rub, rub, rub. You're gonna go to the top right corner. And put glue there. Fold on down, and rub, 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 so, as so. Then you are going to go to the top left corner. I'm going to get a little more glue. Go there. And you're going to fold inward. And rub that good. Gonna go to the bottom right. Glue, glue, glue. And then you're gonna fold that inward. And that gives you your basic card template. So that when you fold it, it goes ba da. And you're gonna want to, your first fold through, crease the edges a little better. And you're gonna fold down and it'll open and you fix it up a little bit again and fold yours will work a little easier because you will spend a little more time on the creases and gluing mine doesn't fold super great because I rushed don't be like me yes very good so I'm obviously not going to decorate the whole thing on camera, but I'm going to show you with this scrap piece of paper. I think Stephanie sent me. I don't know where it came from. I'm assuming Stephanie. Looks like her work. I'm going to 
So, okay, I'll explain what I'm doing, because that's the point of this tutorial. You will see. The beardy is cut down the center, because the easiest way to do this is to cut it and then glue it, not glue it and then try to cut. Take my word for it. So you're going to figure out, pretend I planned this really well, and you slicey slice. And then this is dead to us, so it goes in the boneyard. And not really, I just put it next to my desk. There's, there's no boneyard in my office. Um, so then you will want to glue it just carefully on either side of the split. And that just makes it easier. And I promise you there's a reason why I'm showing this. So I'm showing this to illustrate the point that then after you've decorated this page and you fold it to decorate this page and then you go fold it to decorate this page and oh god it doesn't want to neatly fold because you glued it but that's to be expected just crease it crease it out with your platypus and then wham bam thank you ma'am you can fold on through to the other side like that um so yeah and in the end you'll have something that looks better more like this one although better than this one because as I said on this page, I got bored halfway through making it because it was just a prototype. And that is how you make an ever-ending art card. This has been a YouTube tutorial. Um, there are members of our group that do far better YouTube tutorials, so I'm not throwing my hat in the ring there. But, you know, toodles.